Hi, I'm Ems, aka on Zack and Wings, and in this video I will be taking a look at Turbo Doc paints and seeing whether I like them or not. Please do like, comment and subscribe, it helps my channel grow and gives me the motivation to keep making these videos. So Turbo Doc sent me out six of the paints. They specialize in metallics and they have like standard metallic paints and some funky different colored ones and shifting paints. This isn't a paid advertisement by the way, I just decided to review them after they sent me them out, so I'm excited to try these out. So I got two of these standard paints, which are the Bullion and the People Eater. I got two of the special shifting paints, so the 3D Glass and the Peacock. And I also got these special like glittery ones, which is the Red Queen and the Ground is Lava. Bottles retail for around about £4.50 to £5 here in the UK and about $7 in the US, which seems quite a lot, but you do get about 22 millilitres of paint in these, so the same as you get with Pro Acrylic, so these are more in these bottles than your standard dropper bottles that you'd get. The lids can be a little bit difficult to undo as they are safety lids like you would get with a medicine bottle, but if you do struggle just cut them off with some scissors around the rim at the bottom and you should be fine after you're able to open it up the one time. And what I found as well is you do have to really, really shake these paints up as there is like a medium inside to thin these out. But once you give it a really good shake, you should be good to go. So I wanted to test these paints out and I've 3D printed this cool bust from Loot Studio. This is like a cyberpunk looking robot and I thought it was quite appropriate considering I'm using these types of metallic paints for it. As well as the paints, TurboDoc sent me out this silicone dry palette. So this is like a rubbery one, you know, like those fidget popper type things you've seen people use quite a bit of for dry palettes. And I thought I would use this one since they sent it me and it's also black. So it's a good contrast for seeing the metallic paints as well once I put them onto the palette. And they also sent me out these silicone mixing sticks so you can mix up your paints properly. I personally just use an old brush for that, but it's quite a cool idea. I wanted to start off with the gold bullion and uh, this is just going straight onto my palette. I have given this a good shake and I would recommend you do so if you do get any turbo dark paints. Since there is like a thinner inside of it, a bit like the scale 75 paints, so make sure you give them a good shake first. And right out of the bottle, it's got a really nice vibrant colour and it even comes through on the camera, you can see it there on the palette. I added a dash of water to the paint as it's already got that medium thinner with it and it flows really well off my brush. It's not clumpy or chalky, and it's not too runny. It's got really good consistency, it's opaque. As I do find with some metallic paints, they don't cover too well, but this one covers lovely. It's really vibrant as well. It actually looks like real gold metallic. I wanted to compare these paints to Darkstar Molten Metals, which are another brand which specialise in metallic paints. These are based in the UK and I really like this brand and I talk about them quite a lot and I do have a previous review talking about them and I'll put that in the link in the description below. So I'm going to be comparing the Darkstar Royal Gold to the Turbo Dark Bullion colour. I find that the Dark Star paints are thicker than the Turbo Dark ones, so you will have to thin them down more. To be honest, I personally think both of these paints are very similar in the colour and how like vibrant and opaque that they are. Dark Star paints are cheaper, they're £3.50 a bottle usually, but they only come with 17 millilitres. Like I said, there isn't much difference in these two colours from two different brands. I'd say the Dark Star is slightly better in the coverage, but that's because the paint's thicker, whereas I think the Turbo Dark flows better right out of the bottle. And now we're moving on to the Purple People Eater. I'm really excited to try this one out. So this is like a vibrant purple colour, and this is just like a standard metallic. But well, this has a very similar consistency to the Bullion one. It's very nice and vibrant and it's got a little bit of like flow to it. It's not too runny or too thick. I was really impressed with this colour. It covers so well and it's really, really vibrant as well. 
So again, I wanted to compare this to a Dark Star colour, which is similar. So this is Amethyst, which is a purple colour from Dark Star. And I'm just going to put this on. I have talked about this before, but I'm not impressed by Dark Star's metallic coloured paints compared to the all the colours in the range. I think that the colours from Turbo Dark, that purple people eater, is far superior. And even after one coat of the purple people eater, <laughs> I love saying that, it looks really good. Whereas the Dark Star one, it took me about like two, three coats before you actually start to see the paint over the black. Don't get me wrong, it does look nice once you get enough of it on, but I still think the purple people eater looks a lot better in comparison. And with the Dark Star, it isn't just that one purple colour. I have tried other coloured metallics from them, and it's the same situation. You do need a good few coats down before you actually see anything. Moving on to Turbo Dark Specialist type of paint. So we have the Red Queen and the ground is lava so these are like more glittery type of paints make sure you shake these up well so these paints don't cover in the same way as the standard ones so the bullion and the purple one these have like a glittery sheen to them so i would recommend painting them over black as they are a little bit transparent in their effect The ground is lava I'm putting on now has a similar effect as well. So make sure you put them like over a black paint. And then once it dries, if you move your model around, it like shimmers and it looks really cool and interesting. Moving on now to the last paint. So here I have 3D glasses. I'm excited to try this one out. So this is a colour shifting paint, so there is like different colours within this one paint pot. And it's like a special effect on it, so this is going to look cool, hopefully. As you can see already on the black palette, it's got like a cool transition of colours in there. It's like a green and a purple in there. Again, as with those previous effect ones, I would probably recommend painting this over a black primed model, as it has some slight transparency to it. But I can imagine once it dries, it will be a different type of look to it. So this is the 3D glasses one once it's dried. And I think it's got quite a cool like chameleon effect to it. Lastly, we have the peacock. Again, this is like a shifting paint with like different colours within it. Out of the bottle, it kind of just looks like some sort of medium thinner, so I'm not sure what to expect with this one. So this is a lot more transparent than the last one. I'm expecting it to look different though once it dries. I know that the Dark Star coloured ones were quite thin when they went on, but these are thin but with a purpose to them. Like I said, if you paint them over black, you get like these interesting effects on them. Whereas the Dark Star ones were quite dull. So here is the Peacock paint dried. Um, it has like this very subtle kind of transition of colours. It's almost like leaking at sort of like a night sky or something like that. Not my favourite, but it's quite cool. My overall impression of Turbo Dark is I think it's a fun range to work with. I was really impressed by the Gold Bullion. I think these standard metallic paints are really good. They have a good consistency to them and a really good coverage and they're very vibrant and stand out. To be honest, there wasn't much difference in this color for me compared to like a Dark Star Royal Gold. Although Dark Star are thicker paints in my opinion. So I think that kind of comes down to personal preference with those consistencies. I think the best color and my favorite I worked with was the purple people eater and not just because i enjoyed saying it this was super vibrant and came out really well on the model comparing it to the dark star one i don't think the dark star colored paints are that good to be honest i think this is where turbo dark shines is with these colored paints i still think that the dark star paints are really good for the more classic colors 
and they have a lot of really interesting more like realistic colors like this renaissance gold so if you want some like more worn out metallics or for more like fantasy stuff or more classic metallic painting where as i think that the turbo dark shines more when it comes to these like funky really bright colors like that purple the shifting colours were interesting. I think my favourite out of those effect ones was the 3D glasses. I think that looked great over a black model. I think the rest of the paints were quite fun and interesting. Uh, the Red Queen and the Ground is Lava, quite cool. It depends on your desired effect. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the Peacock, to be honest. I think if you're going to be getting some of these paints, I would have a look online at the colour first to see how it looks on a model see if it's something that you would actually like to get. I think my favourite though is the Bullion and the People Eater. So I think Turbo Dark have some really great metallics. I think the standard paint range is my favourite out of them, especially the coloured ones. It's the first time I've actually worked with coloured metallics and like them. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to support me, you can donate or join my Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, please do share this video. Remember to enjoy your hobbies for yourself. Respect that people enjoy them in their own ways, and at the end of the day, they're just war dollies. I will see you in the next one.